Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to go after the Blacksmith Tools. I also want to get the Black Cauldron ASAP because we have unlocked Eternal Fireball, but we need the Alchemy Station, uh, which requires the uh, the um, cauldron in order to make. So that needs to be a high priority for us. Let's try and get a little bit of building done in this episode. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I know I say that every time, but we really are not going to spend a lot of time on it. But we're going to spend some time on it because if we don't spend some time on it, it won't get done. Um, I have, as you can see, spent some time off camera um, clearing out the rubble down here. I'm not co not completely finished with it, uh, but yeah, I've been digging it out here. I'm trying to get the foundation clear so we can then you know, put in new blocks for that. Um, yeah, there's like a little hole down there. Uh, here's a chest too, by the way, that I haven't opened yet, obviously. And then uh, we got some fireball one and some other stuff. Um, so what we're going to do though today is let's get our uh, wood floor in place in the front room here. Um, that's kind of the main thing I wanted to accomplish. So, uh, let's go in here and we're going to just use the refined wood blocks for that. City wall, weathered stone. I think the weathered stone, that's the one that does the, the bones that I'm not uh, super thrilled about. This, uh, this block is pretty cool looking, but... I don't know if it would really fit well with our th the theme of this particular house here. Um, oh, you know, let's also do the same thing we did in the kitchen where we make a few more torches so we have better light in here. Um, so what we need to do is get some resin, logs, and cloth. Um, resin is in here. Locks are in here. And cloth is in here. So we'll just pop up some torches around the place to uh, lighten it up a little better. All right. Let's put snapping on. Um, those are higher up. I'd like these to maybe match the height of the other ones, which is right about there, I think. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I guess we'll leave that one down lower because of the way the stairs are. Let's put one in here and one there. Excellent. Oh, you know what? We need our building hammer. That might come in handy. And, uh... We put this back in here this back in here and this back in here <clears throat> okay um let's bring that up and make sure we are on let's see no alt that's what we need to do uh, make sure we're on the four meters and the floor. All right, that's where it's going to want to snap to. All right, so I think we're going to have to go with a foundation here. to remove what's there currently. Oh, 
I wonder if that grass is going to peek back up to the floor. No, it isn't. Okay, good. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> okay, let's do the same thing over here. Um, oh, I need, I need to make more wood. So that's going to be... Where are we at here? Refined, no, refined wood block. Wood planks and wood logs. Alright, got some planks in there. Oh, we're going to need to make some more planks. So let's grab this full stack. We'll split it in half. Um, yeah, I'll leave that wood there for other things. We'll put half of this in here. And make some more planks. Oh, that didn't give us very many. All right, well, we'll do as much as we can. Okay, so put that there. Take it back. Uh, no, undo. We were too far over. What the hell's going on here? What? How did I... I'm confused. What happened to all the wood blocks I just had? I... Yeah, I use floors for those. Okay, try this again. No. No. Quit popping back. Okay. That gives me 384. That only uses 192. I might need to move... Yeah, I think I need to move um, the collector guy. Summoning staff. You know what? You guys all need some fresh air. We're going to stick y'all outside. Oops. Stop it. My keyboard stuck. He's, he was running by himself without me pressing the button down. Okay. Get some fresh air. Get some sunlight. Make sure you have sunscreen on. Okay. Oh, we did screw up that wall, didn't we? Son of a bitch. Um, uh, yeah, I don't like that, actually. Can I undo? Nope. Go back to here. Oh, it screwed it up way back then. Shit. Because see, the thing is, is, I don't have those blocks to replace it. <sighs> All right. It's kind of early in the morning. And uh, my brain's not working very well, obviously. So, okay, so let's turn this into a foundation. Set it down, pick it back up. <laughs> this is just not working out this morning. Uh, set it here. Now remove it. Why won't you remove? What the fuck is going on here? There. It worked there. I don't know why it's not working here. Okay. I guess it worked there. Place. Remove. Okay, we'll have to use smaller blocks for that area. Am I... Am I losing material 
as I do this? Are we not, do we not like get all of the material back now? Is that what's going on here? I thought we got all of it back. Hmm. I'll have to pay attention to that to see if that's actually what's happening. All right, we want you. to go to small block here um, yeah you guys were telling me I can press Z and use scroll wheel to move in and out that's mildly helpful but it's still nowhere near as good as a first person view would be if we Add one for this kind of thing. I, yeah, I can't remove this stove. I don't know of a way to remove it without destroying it, which I don't want to do because I like it there. And I can't seem to get down in there. Oh, can we do this from down below? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice. All right, now let's switch to, uh, or just do this. Ah, awesome. Okay. that'll work now if we go to two meter and go to you we can put you in there and we're out of wood okay um let's grab whatever we have in here which isn't a lot at the moment Probably not going to be enough to finish this, but let's just see what, how far we can take it. Alright, got that done. Um, I think we can just... Do this, and it will only use the actual amount of blocks that it needs to, to fill in the gap. Um... Well, at least up to that point. I don't want to overlap it because we might do something different with the landing area here. Just to kind of switch things up a bit. All right. Looks like it's going to make me do single blocks here. Um, so we want to go to here and do this. Okay. Well, we royally screwed up the wall in here. But uh, the floor itself looks pretty good. Um, This floor, I think I'm going to keep a stone floor. But we're going to switch it out from 
the current stone floor because I don't like the dirt and grass and shit. What options do we have for that wall? We got rough stone block, but that's not going to look good. City wall block, I think, is what's already there. Or no, that's... That's actually this stuff. Hmm. That might work. Let's grab the weathered stone also. I need to figure out where to get this block. I, I know I've had it before, but I just don't know where to get it. Because I don't mind the way that it looks for the walls, right? I just don't like the the surface area with all the, you know, dirt and crap on it. All right, let's go to... Let's try this city wall block for the wall. See, the thing I don't like about those is it's got... It still kind of has like the dirt and and roots look to it, which just doesn't go well in an in a clean interior, you know, setting. Um, let's try the bone blocks. These here. Those definitely look better, except for that they place dead bones on the floor. <laughs> Which the collector probably would like that, actually. Um, so what's the lesser of two evils? Um, I think f for now... Uh, oh, what the hell did I just do? Oh. I, uh... undid that the thing the reason why that confused me though is I thought I the last thing I did was accidentally punch a hole in there anyway okay let's go back to here and I think we're gonna go with the city wall it's definitely not ideal but I think I like it slightly better than having dead bones on the floor Yeah, we just we just have to find whatever this block is. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that if I take the two meter block, um, this guy right here, and take some of this block off, it actually gives me the block. But that is uh, that's not the case because go away. What the hell? Oh, that's what the problem is. See, it didn't it didn't actually give me that block. It just gave me some stone. So, that's something they apparently patched out, <clears throat> which is the way it should be because that's not the intent. The intent is for you to find the blocks. That said, and I've said this before, I wish that we could find these blocks earlier rather than later so we can use them to build a base and enjoy the base while we're playing the game, you know, kind of thing. So, Anyway, okay, well, we made some progress here today. It's kind of too bad I didn't notice originally when I screwed up that wall because I could have stopped myself, but it was too late to undo it. So we'll just have to work with it and make the best of it. Let's put some stuff back. We're going to need to sleep, and then we're going to go on an adventure. All that can go in there. Let's go here. We're going to leave our, our peeps outside. They can go in the house whenever they want to. I'm tired of babysitting them. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible, huh? Can't take them anywhere. All right. Let's put those there. Fireball one spells up there. Put 
we've got the grilled bird meat. Yeah, okay, well, I think we're I think we're pretty well ready to go. Let's go ahead and sleep. All right, so we are after the blacksmith's tools so that we can make bronze tools, and we're after the black cauldron so we can make eternal fireball. Um, did you guys spend the whole night out here? What's the matter with you people? Can't take you anywhere. Um, if I wanted to make some more of these, we need tar, amber, resin. Let's do that. Let's make a few more of those. Tar. Amber and oh, we're short amber, aren't we? Well, I think we need 10 to make a stack of 20. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go farm some of that up. I'm just gonna run over to the to the spire and the Revelwood spire and go down here and grab some. So I'll meet you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, um, we need to zoom back in. Maybe another click. Yeah, we'll try that. Actually, that's that's closer than normal, right? Yeah, let's go back out one one increment. I think this is what we normally are. Uh, all right, so we got um, 60, or no, um, yeah, 60 things of amber. Um, let's put you and you in there. And we'll make, what do we need for the eternal fireball spell? We need 50 things of amber. Okay, so let's just make one st stack of 20 of these so we still have our, oh, it only takes five, okay. Good. So we'll make See you soon. Uh, two stacks. You can go back in there. And we still have our 50 to make the eternal. Good. I think we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so I am um, off camera, uncovered all of this area up here. I just went around and picked sugar cane and killed tigers and that sort of thing. Um, what is this? That's the black cauldron. Since we've got this so close to there, I just left an altar here because it was as far north as I had gone. Um, why don't we go ahead and maybe go after the black cauldron first? Because, you know, once I can get the Eternal Fireball spell, then I don't have to obviously worry about making any more. Um, and, yeah, that's the one that's active. Okay, so. Gotta go that direction. Um, Alright, let's go hit this Flame Shrine first. Watch out for tigers. Grab more of this while we're here. Oh, speaking of which, there's some tigers. Oh, I, should, hmm. I probably should have made some more um, chain lightning too, but...
Looks like that shrine's up on the hill here. Why don't we buff up? Pick up a couple flames. I wonder if we can go over the mountain here. Oh, is that just a pathway? Yeah. Go this way. I believe we have to fight a fell monstrosity to get this cauldron. Uh, which is fine. We need to kill one of those anyways for our next flame upgrade. Um, at some point... Yeah, see? This means... He's around. In fact, I think I think he's going to be over here, but I don't know if we can do that before we walk through the the first stage of the quest. Hey, there's our our skull buddy. What's up, Retta? Yeah, we have to go down to this town here. Damn tigers all over the place. Hey, look at that. We got a level. Okay, so... Don't remember exactly. I think we have to go... Wait, did we read this? Okay. Uh, nope. I think it's down... We just did this on multiplayer. I think it's in here, maybe? Is this it? A Hunger in the Dark. Maybe it's down in the basement of this place. Maybe there's one of those thingies. That seems to indicate it's over here. Right about here. <laughs> okay, maybe it's it is down below. Let's grab some water. We got spiders. It sounds like or rats. No. Uh, no. L uh, 
loot. There you go. Loot. Um, location below. Location reached. Maybe it's in this building. some glow dust. Look at that. No, I don't want that shit. Here. Light burst charges. The farmer said her core used to reside in the Rattle, Rattle Blake, a town of the Nomad. Perhaps a black collar can be found at her shop. Okay. Um, isn't this her shop over here? Or is this it? You know what? I'm going to grab this sage. Because that is our spirit food. It's a nice little bunch of it right here. I think this... Is this the shop... Oh, here we go. Okay. I thought we had to go downstairs for this. I'll bet you this is it here. There we go. Okay. So that should have advanced us to go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we got to go kill the, the, uh, fell monstrosity. some points too we have two points um we could just boost spirit and intelligence on all the little places that allow us to do that on a successful parry gain 20 more mana um i do want to start working towards dessert stomach though increases endurance inner fires shroud time uh, yeah, yeah, let's just start working towards dessert stomach. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll go back and forth. Okay, so we put one point towards dessert stomach. Let's put a point into intelligence, which increases our damage. Okay. Didn't notice if there was a... Repair station over there or not? Oh, we should do that spire too, since it's right there. We should indeed. I think we bailed off the edge of the cliff to get down here. But there's a I think there's a passage over here we can take. Let's pop one of these because we're gonna have to fight the monster in the shroud anyway. This way. I'm not going to bother with those bugs. Let's just move through. There 
There we go. All right. I've never fought fell monstrosity with magic. Well, actually, that's not true. I guess I did a multiplayer. But I don't know what it's weak to. So we'll start with our main... You guys are still chasing me? Bastards. All right. You want some? You get some. That's all there is to it. Uh, so anyway, we'll start with our, our fire... Uh, our fireball spell and if uh, that doesn't do the trick then we'll switch to lightning cradle of dusk it seems to do reasonably good damage Take some mana. Stay out of the way of that stuff. And run away from that. Cool. So there's the cauldron, and we also got the fell monstrosity head. And for some reason, it still seems to be alive. Now it's not. <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay. Get out of the shroud here. The muckety muck. Let's go home and make our eternal fireball spell. How's that sound? Oh, shoot. I was going to do the spire. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll just work our way back to it later. Um, all right, let's repair. What do we need to upgrade to the next flame level besides the fell monstrosity head? Oh, I haven't even grabbed any of that. I did get some fossilized bone, but I um, ground it up. We're going to have to farm some ammonia glands uh, and some tin. All right. Yeah, we're definitely not ready to do that quite yet. Most of that stuff I can farm off camera. So let's put the head up here for now. And, um, just put a couple other things away. Hey! All right, let's talk to you. Hearts of iron, you got what it takes, flameborn, blah, blah, blah. The best iron ore can be canned at the Ridgeback Mine. Okay. We'll go head over there at some other point. Black Cauldron. There we go. Now we need to make an alchemy station. Um... Alchemy station here. We need all of that stuff. Uh, let's pin this. I think we have all of that. There's the brick. There's the wood. Planks. Need three wood logs and five copper bar. Um, let's just pull the wood out of here for now. Copper bars. I have two there. And... Oh. Nope. Yep. And bunch there. Nails. 
Got six, and we can make a few more. Oh, he's out here. Anything else? There we go. Okay, we got it all. Craft that. Um, we're just gonna put all of this stuff back in here for for now until we get them in their permanent location. So, just gonna put it right there. We need to move him back in undercover. Actually, we need to move all of them back undercover. You can go there. We'll put the collector back here. I guess we never we never moved Emily to begin with. Uh, we'll put you over here. We'll put Cade here, and he wants to talk to me now. And Oswald, we'll put here. All right, what do you want? Sun Temple. Okay. Yep. That's something we will. Do a little bit later on. Emily wants to talk to us. Curses. Haunted sun temples. Yep. Okay. Been there. Done that. We'll go back and do it again. All right. Everybody's back inside. Now, what do you need for eternal fireball? Charcoal, bronze, and amber. Charcoal, bronze, and amber. Let's put you back in here. And we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The eternal fireball spell. 114 damage versus 85 from Fireball 2. But it does cost more mana and takes longer to cast, but that's okay. It's a good trade-off. We no longer have to make Fireball spells. We are going to retire the Fireball 2 spells. And look at us and our bad self. Uh, we need, at some point, we need the Eternal Healing spell and the Eternal Lightning spell. Chain heal doesn't count. We need heal channel. I'm, mm, do we have... Yeah, I think we have a, an eternal version of that, don't we? Mm, not sure. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll we'll figure it out when the time comes. Very nice. All right, guys. Um, We are out of time in this episode. So plan for the next episode is... Start up, uh, do a little bit more around the base as usual, and then um, we will, where is, here, let's just pin this and then unpin. There we go. Uh, then we'll go out and go after the blacksmith tools and probably do the Highlands Spire and check out our new sexy Eternal Fireball spell. Beautiful. We just damaged our well. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.